I've been dragged all over Twitter for a hot minute for my food choices. <laughs> I recently just did one little tweet about how I like warm grapes and everybody trying to clown me. And it's delicious. They burst and all their grapey goodness squirts in your mouth, sexy. And it's like a grape spit in your mouth. And it's great. Oh yes, we're doing this. It's very, very long overdue. For about the last year, I've been dragged to and fro on Twitter about my food choices. I get innovative sometimes. I don't actually know what, no it's not, it's not innovation. I don't know why this is such a highly controversial subject. <laughs> or maybe I just eat weird stuff, it's fine. So today we're finally doing an official, is this dirty? Yeah, I think it has oats from a few days ago on it. <laughs> We're doing an official cooking with Kenny. Low key, didn't want to call it that. I wanted to call it You Bitches Don't Have Taste, but I'd get demonetized. But um, but maybe we should have a theme song. You bitches don't have taste. Um, I just came back from working out. So I'm so hungry that I can, I can see why people eat other people, but it's not like, I'm not gonna do it but I, I, I could see where the desire comes from. I'd eat anyone right now. But instead we're gonna make my most controversial dish, warm grape oatmeal. I will say though, the people that have tried it said it was a good idea and it was delicious, so. And I did do a live stream of like a, like a pretty in-depth recipe video, but today I wanted to actually do an actual video that you can reference. I think, I don't know if my live stream is still up. It might still be up, but nobody watches the live streams. They watch a video. So here we go. You see before me, this little pot, this is a rice cooker, an aroma rice cooker that I paid $15 for a few months ago. Best money I've ever spent in my life. I'm so tall, I got a hunch of hood, hunch of hood. It has two buttons, warm and cook. To turn it off, you unplug it. Scratched up the inside pretty bad though, so I don't even know if I should be using it. But why do I use a rice cooker to make oatmeal? First of all, I use a rice cooker to make everything. The reason I use a rice cooker is because A, in the microwave, it always overflows. I can never do it the right amount of time for it to not overflow in my microwave. Still kind of same problem on the stove, but the thing is this cooks it slower so I can do other things and just come back to it. It kind of works as a slow cooker. Though this is called warm grape oatmeal because that's the fruit that really stuck with people for some reason, there's a lot of other fruits in it. And if you just put grapes in oatmeal, I don't know how that tastes, that sounds gross. So I'm gonna give y'all the whole tea. What you'll need, oats. These are just Quaker oats, old fashioned oats, big cylinder of them. You can get this for like, three, four bucks. I've done it with quick oats too. Quick oats are good. It gets like really creamy though. If you like the super creaminess, like it'll get pretty creamy the way I do it. But like, if you want it super creamy, quick oats. I think these, this has more fiber or something and it was on sale, so. A cup of dry oats. A cup. A banana. This is a frozen one. So we'll just get rid of that. About a tablespoon of chia seeds. I'm gonna just use the rest of this bag because it's almost gone. Unsweetened almond milk. Or if you like it even sweeter, that's dope, but I, I find that it's a little overpowering. Am I using a dry measure for this? Of course I am. And this is gonna be two cups. So whatever your oats are, double it. Now you're gonna add any fruit of your choosing. Um, I like to use fruit that is about to go bad, generally. Um, I've done it with peaches, nectarines, raspberries, blackberries. Today I'm using mixed berries and some frozen strawberries, cause that's what I have. Why is frozen fruit so expensive? This is like $7. I'm gonna put a handful. This is blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And then I have some frozen strawberries. Those smell good, oh. Oh, that smells good. Oh, wow, it really is dirty. Professionalism, relatable content, woo. Okay, and now we're gonna turn her on. Now you may have noticed, there's no grapes in the oatmeal yet. So why is it called grape oatmeal? Well, what I like to do is let it cook, let it do its thing for a while. It takes a little while, especially because I'm using frozen fruit today. And because it's in a rice cooker, it will gently cook while I go do other things. I just came home, I smell horrible. So I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna let this simmer. And then right when it's almost done, maybe the last like five minutes or so, that's when we put the grapes in. Because one, my grapes are fresh. 
Um, if they're frozen, maybe you can put them on at the same time. If you overcook them, they kind of just disintegrate and it's not, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be like a hot ball of grape juice. As I've said before, it's like a grape spit in your mouth and it's delicious. Yeah, so I'm gonna let this boil until it thickens and stuff and I don't know what I'm gonna be. That's gonna be food for today. So yes, I'm gonna go let this do this thing. I'm gonna take a shower, wash my hair, not be disgusting and <laughs> We will come back to this masterpiece. Okay, Driggers, Artichokies, I'm back. Today's wash day, so I'm deep conditioning. I haven't deep conditioned in a hot ass year. <laughs> I'm just really bad at caring for my hair, but I think my hair prefers that. I think it prefers to be left alone. But anyway, this is what we're looking like after about, I'd say 15-ish minutes. <laughs> Somebody told me that it looks like the Teletubby custard. <laughs> now, at this stage, you wanna kinda like smush up the banana and berries, you don't want like a, well, the berries not as much, but the banana certainly, you don't want like a giant mushy banana because that's disgusting. The banana is really important though. That is not something you skip. Whatever other fruit you use is whatever, but you don't skip the banana because the banana is the only thing that's gonna make this sweet without adding like sugar. You can add sugar, but I find that when you add sugar, it doesn't taste as good. Like if you just sweeten it with a banana, like everything is delicious. And at about this stage is when we'll add our grapes. I didn't taste these, I really should have. Okay, guys, you don't want to use subpar grapes because they taste subpar. And I'm just going to add them whole. Do not cut them up. I'm dead ass serious. Do not cut them up. Again, you want it to be this grapey explosion that happens unexpectedly. I got these grapes from Kroger. I recently started shopping at Kroger. I didn't really go there very often, but then I realized how overpriced some of the other places are. But with that said, I tried a cotton candy grape. Delicious. But... $3.99 a pound, who the hell? <laughs> and now we're gonna just let this just gently warm up for a bit cause it's almost time. This is about the texture you want. It should look this, it should look like this. I saw people doing it and y'all was cute or whatever, but it looked mad dry. And isn't that cool? It didn't boil over cause it's a rice cooker. So if it was starting to boil over, it would just turn off. I'm gonna give this like another two minutes or so. Now this is a pretty sizable amount of oatmeal. I usually share this with my mom. Like I'll eat a lot of it though. <laughs> I'll eat like two thirds of it or something and then give the last third to my mom. Yes, brew, brew. Yep, that's about the texture you're looking for. Okay, let me find a grape. Ha! Huh. It's good though. Nope, it should burn your mouth a little bit. <laughs> but the thing is, if you would have cooked it in this this entire time, they would have got really wrinkly and all the juice would have came out of the, the, little, the little grapes. And that's the best part. In the meantime, let's talk about another thing that I feel personally that you cannot skip. That is extra crunchy peanut butter. If you have a nut allergy, Sorry, you're not gonna get the full experience because it's really important. It's like, this is okay, this is fine, this is whatever. But also it needs to be extra crunchy, no smooth, because you're not you're not getting the texture. This is all like kind of creamy and smooth and kind of gunky, very appetizing word description there. But you have that like sweet, creamy, fatty, nutty, crunchy, and then make like a really nice milky cup of coffee. I'm gonna turn this to warm because I think we should be good. Even if the grapes aren't hot enough yet, they'll just get hot by just sitting in it. God. Time for the piece de resistance. Gonna put it in a bowl. Peanut butter. There's also a technique to this too. You're gonna put a big old claw. <laughs> Maybe a little too much. As I add more to it, it literally took none off. And you're gonna put a glob of this peanut butter right in the middle. Do not stir it. Do not mix it in. And there you have it. Great oatmeal. I'm a blogger now. I got good shots in my food. Even though it looks really gross on camera. <laughs> you gotta go in and take some of the peanut butter and like let it melt on the sides. And if you run out of peanut butter, you add more. It 
It just hit different. It just hit different. It's so good. <laughs> Hot. So that's the video. I'm not gonna lie. I wanna be a bad influence right now. I want people to actually try it this way. <laughs> and let me know how you like it. Cause I've had, I've seen I've seen people trying it in like similar ways. The core foundation needs to be the same though because you're missing the elements. Of course, oats, milk, don't use water. Water is horrible. <laughs> the banana is non-negotiable. In my opinion, the peanut butter is non-negotiable either. The chia seeds give a nice texture. It absorbs some of the liquid. Um, also good for your omega-3s. And then of course, grapes. So if you try this, let me know. At me on Twitter, at me on, is that what you call it? Tag me on Instagram. Let me know, I'm curious. And also if you were a non-believer and you tried it, I wanna know, are you still a non-believer? Are you still hating over there with your hater raid? Ow, that's could have burned me. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that. I said that backwards. I will see you guys Saturday.